Alrighty, so we're back with an, another deck profile for Dungeon World. It is now the Adventurer deck. Oh, I just dropped my focus my card. Alrighty, oh. Yeah, so uh, let's get right into it. Uh, I just want to give a little backstory real quick. Uh, Adventures is really special to me because this is the deck I, I played in my very first uh, Buddy Fight uh, regional tournament, and I came in third place for that event with Adventurers, which was the Austin Summer Tetsuya Bladewing Phoenix Ozerkline deck build that he used when he won Worlds. I want to say his first Worlds, maybe. Um, so this deck is very important that it's finally gotten good enough support where you can actually play it competitively. So let's get right into it. So first we play four, four of the buddy, which is the Tim, the Tempestuous Brave Gow. He's a three, two, one. Uh, when he enters, you can get an adventurer monster on your board, an extra critical. And he has the Tetsuya effect, except it's better because when you link attack with an adventurer, you can pay a gauge to stand himself and any adventurer on your board. So this is a Tetsuya with better, but you have to pay a gauge for the full effect. Next we play one Protector of Fate Tetsuku. Uh, we take this at one of because I don't see him being that good. I just want to see if he can do anything at a one of. He's pay a gauge, pay a life to call cost him, and then he's got a counter. Uh, if I have six or less life, you can call this from your hand by paying its call cost. And when he enters, he destroys a size two or less monster in your opponent's field. So this can disrupt disrupt their plays with their effect. Um, I, like I said, I'm not sure how good it is yet, but uh, we're working to see if we're going to play this at more than one of. And to play four, Dark Black Knight, Daito. So, uh, we play the Gaito, uh, like I said, the uh, knight that comes out, just link attack with him with any card, destroy a monster, deal damage to their size, and you can life equal to their size. Next, we play four Windmill Knight Noboru. Uh, 6 1 5 pay gauge uh, for call calls. If you have two or more other ventures, he gets moved. An extra crit, and when he deals damage, you gain a gauge. So this card is really good with Tempuous Gal because it basically makes him a three crit double attack, uh, well, triple attack if you use the effect to resend it as well. Um, this card just uh, tanks overload. Next, we play two Merchant of Darkness Jin. Uh, he's at three, two, one. His effect higher bodyguard, choose the size to listen your drops on pay gauge, pay life, and call the chosen card. Um, this card just lets us reuse like Gals, Naborus, Gaitos from the drop zone. Uh, cards in test mode right now, but I, it's doing pretty good right now, so I do uh, like the proof of it right now. Next, we play two princes from the East, Sanya and Akatsuki. Akatsuki, when, Akatsuki. Akatsuki. When this card attacks, you can put a ninja or a card with set. So this lets us reuse our mission card form of parties. Um, this card we attack, and we just add a mission card, uh, the mission card form of party back to our hand, or an Ibo, uh, Ibo or Nazaro Hot Spring, whichever one we don't have that we want. This card is really good. It's a fan of 5-1-1. Next we play two Friends of Braves, Baku and Kugaru. Kogos pay two, they're a 5 one, three. and when they enter you can add any adventure or item to your hand. This card is just deck thinning, we can add any card we're missing from our co a combo, and um, then, or if we're missing our item, this card just is very utility wise. Next we play four, three knights of Konoe, Kane, I mean Nano Guardians. They're five two five. Put a card from their drop zone into the soul pay gauge. They have Shadow Dive Encounter. If a card on your field, opponent's field is attacking low, you can discard a card to nullify the attack. So this helps us uh this is another defensive spell basically, except we just have to waste a card from hand. Which in this deck we do have a lot of hand events sometimes, so it's kinda okay, it just depends on the situation. Next we play four magical fortress Ozer Clan. Uh the four two five. You may put an adventure and a dungeon enemy from the drops onto the bottom of the deck in any order. Gauge and draw. This card is just our gauge and draw engine. Um this card is really OP now because uh, back in the day in the old uh Adventure deck, this card was great. Now it's even better because it can draw you into more hand advantage cards, which we'll get to later. 
Uh, that's it for monsters. Now let's get to items. We play four Magical Sword Ether Storm. That's a 3 2. Pay gauge, pay life for equip cost. All my adventures get plus one, plus one. And when, they, when an adventurer link attacks, you get this gets double attack. So it doesn't even have to be part of the link attack. It's just as long as something in link attacks, you get double attack. Um, this is why we play Bakun Cougar, because we only play four items. So we have to be able to get to it as quick as possible. Um, this card makes uh, gives gives us more attacks than we, that we need. Uh, next, we play two Pillar of Fire, Pay Gauge, uh, Destroy a Monster with 6,000 or less defense. Um, this card is just... Uh, uh, takes care of high, high defense monsters that we need to get rid of so we can not die. Next we play four, three continues, uh, pay a gauge, call a size two or less, uh, du dungeon enemy and an adventure from your draws on my pants, call calls. And it's also an adventure dungeon enemy, so it's a target for Ozer clients to send back to the deck to draw a card the gauge. Um, this also says if we have no board and we draw into this, we just play it and we can get two cards back that we could use to play with. Next we play four Divine Protection Shazana, just basic shield, pay a gauge, and uh, no high attack game life, nothing much to say about this. And again we play four of the best draw engine in the game, bonus quests, and four of two gauge, two draw, one life, for a two and discarding the size two or greater. Next we play Mishkar Nazaro Hot Spring, when an adventure is destroyed by battle, add two adventurers to hand from the drop zone. Uh, three Ibo Academies. Uh, so this lets us set up uh, multiple attacks with the Gao and uh, other monsters on board. We return an adventurer from the uh, from the field to our hand to call a different one. Just get multiple attacks in. And four mission card form party. Um, this is the reprinted one uh, with the misprint instead of former party as party form. It's a set when another adventure. I mean, when another mission card enters the uh, is played, you blow it up to search for any adventurer you want and gain a life. Um, so these are the new decks from the level up here of adventurers. Um, this is one of my favorite decks that I'm thinking about maybe playing in Atlanta, which is the new location for one of the uh, one of the, the the fall, I guess, regional events. Um, and so this is one of the decks I've been thinking about playing, but I need more testing. But I am enjoying this deck right now. It's fun. I get a lot of damage, burst damage when I want to. Um, so this is it from Toadger's Game, the Mambas Productions. Um, we will strive to make five videos a week and like, subscribe, and make sure to comment if you have any questions. I would love to answer them. I like feedback from the community, and I do take it to heart that, um, if I can change it. If not, I give you, I will give you the best reason I can of why I will not. I'll play it. I'll play this over this. As always, if you have any questions, please leave a comment, and I'll get back to you. Thank you.